Okay, so check this out today. I'm gonna do the time lapse and the commentary for this crazy beautiful purple look. Now, I honestly thought that I was just gonna end up looking like a clown. And there for a, a, a few minutes, that, that was actually true. But it ended up being really pretty, so. <clears throat> Alrighty, so we contour, we contour. Here she's contouring, ladies and gentlemen, contouring. Contour, contour. And that contour is so yellow on me and I've been like making it work, but I put this bare mineral bronzer over it. Oh, geez, hold on, hold on, wait. Go back, hold on, look at it, look at it, look. <laughs> <laughs> see what I mean Yikes! see what I mean I don't know if this video is like I'm the teacher at a clown school you guys or if like I'm actually doing a makeup tutorial all I can say is whatever the fuck I did there don't do that nope. okay here's the reality I cut a lot of this out okay I have this purple lipstick in a tub like a teeny tiny little t teeny tiny tub a teeny tiny tub Teeny tiny tub, teeny tiny tub, teeny. Da, 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 da. I was gonna try to say that ten times fast and failed miserably. Okay, so yeah, I have this tiny tub of kind of dark purpley lipstick, and I have to apply it with my finger or a brush or something like that. And it was a sample that I got from a friend, like. Oh God, I don't know, like four years ago, right? And I don't even remember, I, I say a friend, it was this girl online who had followed me on Facebook for a long time and we periodically commented and, you know, back and forth, but uh, I didn't really know her, know her. She seemed cool. Anyhow, she was selling makeup. I, for the life of me, you guys, I'm so sorry. I do not remember what brand or what because all the samples that she sent to me were like, um, not not the brand's like label you know it was just she had I guess scooped it out and put it in little tubs for me I know now that I'm thinking about that I'm looking back on it and I'm like wow that seemed dangerous why am I just putting randomly labeled shit out of tubs and tubes all over my face from a stranger on the internet god Eve wow don't do that ladies and gentlemen don't do that anyway uh it turned out fine it wasn't like acid it didn't melt my face off and here we are. So I found this um, sample in the bottom of my makeup and um, <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm gonna use this, what a pretty color. Ah. And, I, and I haven't been doing purple and I'm gonna, you know, whatever. So I, I go to put it on my lips and it was like really dry and my, I had conditioned my lips before but they still were kind of the right? So it's like the combination of dry lipstick and dry lips, very bad, very bad. And then I was like, oh, well my lip liner is like very creamy and moist Ooh, that word moist anyway so I thought oh I'll use that and I usually overline my lips I mean obviously you can tell like in final pictures my lips look massive Damn. and and you know and when you watch me in the videos they're not massive when I have nothing on them and so clearly you know this is just the magic of makeup but I overline them a lot of the time and so here I've overlined but for some reason it just Holy shit, I, I, let's go back to what I was saying in the beginning. It looks like I'm teaching at a fucking clown school. Okay, you guys? So, let's see. <sighs> nope, still clown school. Still clown school. Didn't save anything. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, here I get this bright idea that I can just fix it. And I remember saying to myself, like out loud, I verbalized with, of course, no one else in the room. I just talked to myself all the time. I was like, I can do this. I can save this. I can make this work. I was like cheering myself on. I mean, if you're not your own cheerleader, you know, so here I'm like, oh, I just, I'll just draw like uh, concealer facial hair on myself and, you know, got myself a little Frenchy mustache here. But anyway, I, I had this idea that it was gonna like cover up all this mess and then I was gonna make it all better again. And all I ended up doing was 
well, all I ended up doing was having really, really bright white around my lips, even after blending and the sponge taking up a lot of it. So I had to, which you don't see, I think, further in, had to like rebronze a little, you know, it just, oh, so terrible. So I don't always have the best ideas. I mean, you never would have guessed that, right? So I know that it looks like it helped a little, and maybe that's just because it's like, the camera and the webcam isn't that great, but <laughs> it didn't really help that, that much. I mean, it looks a little better, but <laughs> I would just recommend like not going through all these steps and just putting on your fucking lipstick the right way in the first place. And also not using like five-year-old dried out <laughs> stranger lipstick. Okay, so that was a really quick blip. I used my EOS uh, lip conditioner, which actually, you can kind of see, goes on, I keep like not pressing pause in the right places, goes on, um, like if I put on a lot, so it went on thick, but it goes on a lot like a, um, a clear lip gloss is basically the role that it's playing. And what happened was like, as I was putting on, it was, rehydrating this shitty dried up lipstick and it was pushing it out further and further so I ended up actually covering up the liner and it ended up um, kind of taking the place of overlining and it worked beautifully um, my lips ended up looking nice and and plump as you can see here and really shiny and pretty thing is though it only lasted like long enough to take pictures and then it was it was over so in the end it is technically kind of a fail but anyway, I wanted to share my clown moment. And, oh yeah, and then swallow a rag, you guys. So now I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Oh, Christ almighty. Seriously though, like, hold on, back up, back up Eve. Right there, okay? That little thing right there, I'm having to cover up because I got this great idea. Okay, this is the dark brown that I'm just putting on my lid and a little further out to make a cat eye. I was talking to my friend on the phone while I was doing this. That's why my mouth was going da, 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 da. So, um, yeah, but my eyebrow, like, I was, I got so sick of seeing them, like, getting yeah on pictures and stuff. And they were really hard to draw, fill in the way that I wanted because they weren't groomed very well. And I'm snowed in, so I can't go anywhere to, to deal with that. So I just, I was like, oh, I can, I can do this. And so when I go to the lady to have my eyebrows done, you know, she does a little snip snip. It's not just the plucking. And so I did a snip snip, but I did a snip snip like right into my eyebrow. And so <laughs> I'm a little worried. I've never done that before. Not with scissors anyway. And <clears throat> I've over plucked, but then stuff grows back and it's not the end of the world. But I don't know how this works. Like, is that going to like grow back or just so I'm going to have like a, a stupid ass patch, on, you know, in my eyebrow for the rest of my life? I don't know. I guess I can just laugh at myself yeah what else can I do but I I, I filled it in in this um, video and in, in the pictures you can't really tell that much but it's really kind of it's driving me nuts because I am that person who notices all these stupid little details and everything like I, I look at people's pictures and your picture may be great but like I might see like your dirty bedroom in the background and I, I'm just like oh oh uh, brain damage right I, uh, and and I don't judge people like like oh they're a slob no 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 it's just looking at the picture itself it makes my brain twitch to see like weird I don't know I, I it just are you guys like that too do you notice that kind of stuff I don't know so like when I look at my face now and looking back at me in the mirror and I see that little glitch on my eyebrow I'm like ah brain damage So <clears throat> this is a lighter, little lighter shade of brown that I'm doing there kind of on the brow bone right above the crease. And what I was going for is I saw, uh, I saw a makeup artist doing cut crease and I've not been brave enough to do it. And I was like, I'm gonna try that. Now she did warn that when you like go over the lid with concealer, you really should clean the lid off first, like take the eyeshadow off the lid first because otherwise you're just going to blend your eyeshadow in with um, 
with a concealer, right? And then I was like, yeah, but then I've seen like a million other videos where they don't clean it off first. They just do the concealer. Like it's, it, and it doesn't, anyway, I was like, I know better, even though I don't know shit about anything, right? So I didn't clean it off first and it really, and of course it blended in with, she was right. She was right. Using my finger to apply like a shimmery white. Okay, and here, like, I was like, okay, this is where I'm gonna do the concealer. And you can see that it, <laughs> it's kind of like a pinkyish color because, uh, because I didn't wash my eyelid off. Also, this concealer, like, dried in an instant. I'm not liking that about this NYX concealer. Like, maybe that's a good thing, I don't know, but it's a problem for me because when I go to contour, um, and I want to sponge it down. It's already like mostly dried and here like I'm trying to spread it with this brush and it took some serious effort you guys um, So I'm gonna start trying some different um, Concealers and see if I can find something a little easier to spread around um, Something that won't dry up so fast, but also I realize that when contouring I can like wet my sponge and that'll kind of take care of that problem That's nice and everything but it's I wanted this to be um, a product that could play several roles and it's not gonna work for my you know cut crease because it just dries way too fast unless you guys can tell me how to make that work I don't know but I don't know of any way to make that work so I've got all of the um, concealer on the eyes but and you know the lighting here is horrible and it's ma it's washing out the pigment, the color in the um, in the eyeshadow. So what I've actually got on my eyes, and you can see it better in the pictures because it's different lighting and a different camera. <clears throat> but I've got like this really shimmery, um, beautiful like bubblegum pink kind of color going on, and it just looks like I'm, I'm just wearing con messed up concealer on my eyes right now, but I'm not. Um, and when you see the, the after photos, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. But once I, so I put on the concealer and then I packed it full of, um, like this pretty pink color. Now what I'm doing here is I've got, um, like a shimmery foresty green color, which worked really well with that, that pink. Um, and I'm doing, just a simple cat eye and then um, going up into my crease um, to give it that to finalize that kind of cut crease look okay and <laughs> I've done the um, waterline with a black eyeliner and you'll also notice that here in the corner of my eyes I've actually extended it out I don't know what they call that is that a reverse cat eye i don't know i don't know i don't know what that's called but i did it and um it, it just it really made everything really kind of just pop and then i thought ooh, if i had eyelashes like false eyelashes this would be pretty pretty staler but i don't have those they're, they're still coming in the mail and you know we're all waiting so i'm using some mascara here but I went really heavy on the mascara. And what I did was I, when I was doing it, I kind of pulled my lashes towards the outer corners of my eye to kind of, I guess, give more, pack more punch into that kind of cat eye look. Okay, and that's some highlight on the cheekbones. <laughs> look at me look at me modeling look at me modeling modeling my knee okay. so I would absolutely wear this out and actually use one of these photos as like my default zoom photo at work like you know some of these are just some of the you know once in a while I get a look that isn't uh <laughs> this is so <laughs> trashy and cakey and shitty that I can actually, you know, wear it to work. So anyway, that is how I got to this look. And I think it's really gorgeous. So I, I didn't list the products that I used because like with the example of the lipstick, like I don't even know what product that is. So what I'm gonna suggest here 
is that you use whatever you have that are you know that, that resembles these colors i mean i'm pretty sure that almost every line every brand of makeup has a color that's similar or the same to what you see in these pictures so you know <clears throat> i would say just use whatever you have and and that's another thing like if you do that and you send me your your pictures or whatever like let me know what you used um, and I think that's fun to compare what different people use to get very similar or the same looks right all right you guys thank you for watching and as my son forces me to say please oh please like and subscribe bye